Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today is a very special day for me because with me is Diana Montalvo. Diana Montalvo, she is the master broker of by the development in Playa del Carmen, of which we're going to be talking today. So, Diana, welcome. Thank you so much, Humberto. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So, Bay or by, I, I always say by, but you told me it's really Bay, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay, so in any case, I call development. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the most important things. We're going to be covering that in, in a second. It has so many features and technologies when it comes for uh, to sustainability and eco-friendly technologies that really, and this is something that we have we have uh, discussed this channel as well, that's something that really makes uh, Bay stand out from the rest of the developments in that, in that um, area. But in any case, uh, Diana, I think it would be best to start just by talking a little bit about the area. This is located in the Colosio neighborhood, close to a very special beach. So if you want to, to give us a little uh, yeah. uh, information about that. Yeah, most definitely. Um, it's the Esmeralda song. Um, Esmeralda because it's one of the most well-known beach of that song. But yes, Colosio area, uh, very well known as well. Um, and Bay is actually located in La Calle or in the 88th Street um, in between the 10th Avenue and the 15th. So it's just one block away from the 5th Avenue, which is a street that's very famous here in Quintana Roo, in Playa del Carmen specifically. And um, you're going to find restaurants, um, local shops. Um, a very nice lidded area. So you're going to find um, like public lighting and the night. The area is just really, really nice. Also, what, what I mentioned, it's on the 88th Street. That 88th Street takes you directly to the beach that's called Playa 88, which is 88 Beach. <laughs> Um, this beach is actually a very well-known beach because it has a certificate. It's called Blue Flag. Um, the certification it it gives them to the marine, uh, to the marines, to the beaches and the ports of like different touristic areas. And this is because they take care of the environment. They have informational booths. They have well-lighted public areas, and they have security. In this area of Playa 88, we actually will be able to find one of the most famous uh, hotels, a five-star hotel, which is called Paradisus. Really nice area. The beach is very well taken care of. And to the right side, uh, in this I'm talking in between the two, the entrance of La Playa 88 or the beach, the 88th beach. Um, right on the left side, you're going to find the Hotel Paradisus. And on the right side, you're going to find an area that's protected. It's a green mangler area that's protected and that you will not find any developments or construction built in that area. So it's an area that's upcoming. Uh, as you mentioned, it's Colosio. It's one of the furthest parts of, um, I guess, the center of Playa del Carmen, but it's an upcoming area because we have new developments coming in, especially like Bay. We have also other developments like uh, Polo 88, which is already a development that has been delivered. Um, and there's just new upcoming developments in that area. So it's an upcoming uprising area, definitely an area to look into, definitely an area to invest. Um, so yeah, and we're really, really close to the public beach, which as I mentioned, is Beach 88, which is one of the best beaches, very nice area. And this, I'm telling you, blue flag uh, certification, um, you can tell the difference from the different beaches from the center from this area. It's really nice, very wide. The sand is basically white, um, very clean. You have security, as I mentioned. You have uh, bathrooms, uh, showers. You have all, and it's also um, a beach that's available for people that, are, that have a disability. So it's a disability um, access beach. So it's really nice. Also a dog friendly or a pet friendly beach as well. Okay, no, yeah, that's great. Actually, I think you're, you're making a lot of good points. In uh, just as a little anecdote, when I first arrived to, to the Riviera Maya, specifically to Para Playa del Carmen, I'm saying maybe seven, eight years ago, two developments that you mentioned, one is the Paradisus Hotel and the second one is Apollo 88. Those yeah. guys were basically pioneers in yeah. that zone of the Colosso neighborhood. That zone was far, far from yeah. everything that was going on. In, th in those two developments, I don't know. At first, I think that specifically Polo 88 was kind of designed 
to serve the overflow of potential guests of the of the Paradisus. And there it went, but for a very, very, very long time, all there was was like these two properties and not that much. And so you were we're saying now that when you go down to to, to Fifth Avenue in, in that area, you will find restaurants, you will find things to, to do and whatnot. And uh I think it's fair to say that not necessarily is the most vibrant part of Fifth Avenue right now there. Exactly. But no. that no, but uh, that actually comes with with a, a potential that is important to see. Because it's it's every time, for instance, that I go down there right and right now I'm based in Montreal, so I don't I go maybe once a month. Every time I go to that to that area, you find something new. You find that either they open a new restaurant, they open a new something, a new tourist uh, information thing. There's always something new. So whenever you decide to acquire a property in that area, man, the the the, the potential for value growth is is fantastic. It's fantastic. And, and the second thing is really, I think they have cared a lot about the beach in that area. I'm gonna just guess that it was, uh, you know, impulsed a lot by the hotel. But in any case, if I remember correctly, in Playa del Carmen, there are just maybe two or three uh, public beaches with a blue flag destination, uh, the blue yeah, flag right. distinction. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. And as you said, they have bathrooms, they have uh, lifeguard, they have public information, they have uh, bike parking, pet friendly, ramps for, for people with disability. And if I remember correctly, they even test the water every now and then just to check for potential toxicity levels or whatnot. I mean, to get the blue flag distinction, that means that you're doing things well. And so as more and more developments are arriving to that area, attractive, I would say specifically for the two factors that we've been talking about. First, the, the, the growth of Fifth Avenue in that area. And second, the, the attractiveness of the beach at 88. The whole area is, is, is being reshaped. It's looking different. We, we see a lot of new things. Uh, we see a lot of more tourists. We see a lot of more people go coming in and out. And so that's, that's really a very interesting indicator as for where real estate opportunities may be luring around for you. Right. So anything else that you'd like to add about the location? Yeah, I do. Um, actually, this area is a very well known area for nomads. So a lot of people since since COVID, you know, that um, the remote work remotely that came very popular. Uh, a lot of people, nomads, expats, are looking in this area. So a lot of people are searching for rentals there, long-term, even short-term. So it's a very, very famous or area for those kind of people because it's further away from, as you mentioned, the vibrant or the noise of the center. Um, but you still have the closeness um, to that center and you do have areas where you can find supermarkets, pharmacies, um, Oxos, um and like sh restaurants to like go and eat or have dinner so it's just maybe a bike ride away from like the center which is basically you can say around 10 10 minutes or probably even less or you can even go walking i've done the walking from one end to the other end it's you don't feel it tough at all it's really nice because you have people running in that area. They exercise, they uh, walk around with their dogs or their kids. It's a very family friendly um, zone. So it's something that is very popular and famous for the nomads because they still want to feel the local vibrant of Playa del Carmen, but still have the accessibility for the center, you know? Yes, absolutely. I, I think, yeah, I think two highlights from here is, yeah, one is that you're just going to make one block and a half and you're going to be in one of the best beaches of, of Playa del Carmen. Right. And the second thing is, is that, that you are in a tranquil kind of area. I mean, the Fifth Avenue, is, uh, it has lightning, it's paved, it's nice, it's cute, but it's not overflown by, by, by tourists. You're not going to see music, loud music, and people coming and going. It's more, it's more chill, it's more, more relaxed, and, and, the, and that's true. And, and I totally see what it would mean, like, why... if if I wanted to go there for a longer stay, which by the way, when I go, I do, I stay in that area because it's, it's, 
just more manageable. And very important, you are just a couple of blocks away from Colosio neighborhood, the Colosio uh, Avenue. In Colosio Avenue, you're going to find, again, supermarkets, stores, uh, restaurants, drugstores. And very important, you are going to be connected because Colosio Avenue is one of the most important. also leads to the beach if you want to go down there. Yeah. And so um, if you want to grab your, 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 your shuttle to Tulum or to the airport or whatever, you're like there. You want to grab a, a cab, you're going to grab a taxi. Honestly, you just go to Colosio Avenue and it's right there. And before I, I forget, something important that you also mentioned is that all that area, if you walk down to, to Fifth Avenue, from Fifth Avenue to the to the uh, to the beach, all of that is a, is a federal reserve. So, like for instance, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about that about the view that you can get from from Bay. However, yeah. uh, we know already that provided that we have the the, the federal reserve. You're going to have an amazing view on blocked for generations to come. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, Diana, tell me a little bit about the developer himself. This is not his first rodeo, huh? That is correct. This is not his first rodeo. So, actually, the, the developer are actually four, four friends that they've known each other for almost like 10 years. They've done projects before. Um, they are originally from the Ciudad de Mexico or Mexico City. And um, they're always work together. The name or the development name is Chantia. And they have done projects. Um, this is their first project here in the Riviera Maya. But they have done projects in other states, as in Querétaro, uh, Mexico City, um, Puebla. And their latest uh, development that they're going to be delivering is in Acapulco, Mexico. It's a five-tower um, residential development. And they're all Ocean View. They're in total 20 units, Ocean View. Very, very big. They, they are very well known to create big spaces. And in this case, also to manage what it is, all of the views, and also um, what it is, the material that they use. That's why Bay, in this case, um, they decided to uh, place Bay into a program called EDGE. Um, this program is to try to reduce all of the energy that they're using for the development. But yeah, they've done different kind of projects. They've done governmental projects as well. They have gone, um, one of them, uh, the developers is actually very um, involved in doing like uh, prototypes of certain things like benches or uh, bicycles, stationaries. Um, that's one of the things that they um, in implemented in Bay as well, which I will show in the, or we will talk in a little bit further down, which is part of the amenities. But yeah, they are very well involved in the aspect of the um, and the environmental use of the building as well. So they look into all of those points. And as I mentioned, this is not their first rodeo. They have done other projects as well which um, if you guys need more information, we can definitely provide that as well. Perfect. Yeah. So, oh, and before we, we start talking about, I, I think this is huge. When we start talking about the eco technologies that you have implemented in Bay, that's that's a whole subject on its own. But something that I am just thinking about, uh, Playa del Carmen is pretty flat all along. It's pretty flat all over. With the exception of a little part around there, 88th uh, uh, Street. That is correct. So Bay is actually... Yeah, Bay is actually a little bit uphill, as a I matter know. of fact. So it gives you, a, yeah, it, it's a little bit higher, which gives you a little edge when it comes to the to the view that you can get from from the higher levels of the of the development and obviously the rooftop. But let's talk about the eco-friendly technologies. I know that you have a water collecting system. I know you have LED lighting. I know you have a whole bunch of strategies implemented, which really, really, really makes that Bay is a development for people that are environmentally conscious. Yeah. I mean, if you are, if you're uh, rooting for the environment, Bay definitely is going to catch your eye. But Diana, tell us why. Yeah. So, um, as I mentioned, the project is actually going into a um, certification so we can actually uh, show you that we are doing this kind of services or trying to reduce the energy and usage of the development. 
um, and the services. It's called EDGE. This program is basically to reduce 20% of um, uh, lighting, water, and um, I guess air usage of the building. Um, and as you mentioned, we do have different eco technologies as the collection of water, um, rainwater harvesting, uh, solar protection with what it is, the um, solar panels and the LED lighting. We will also have uh, biodigesters. So um, in case of anything that maybe the water system stops or in any issues that just happens, maybe in Playa del Carmen, they will have um, that treatment for it and also to reduce what it is the water drainage into you know in this case the ocean because you know we live just one block in this case bay is just one block away from the ocean which is one of its main uh, attractions of Playa del Carmen so we want to take care of that we want to take care of our main attraction of Playa del Carmen we want to reduce anything possible that will damage it or um, in this case, cause an effect of what, what we use here or our personal use. Um, also, as you mentioned, um, that bay is a little bit higher. Playa del Camino is very flat, yes. But this area, it does have a hill. And so bay is up on the, on the top side or has a little bit higher notice. This also helps with the mm -hmm. flowage of air. So they also did the structure. They try to do the structure, of, I guess the architect type. So the flow of air can go inside the units and you will have to use less of your AC. Mm -hmm. You know, Playa del Carmen is a very hot area. Summer, it's, you know, really bad. Um, and people, you know, are in their house and they want to have, they want to be fresh. So they use the AC, obviously, something that we have here commonly used. So one of that is structure. So they, the main structure of um, Bay is to reduce that. Also, the material that they're using is to reduce that. The lighting of the soul of sorry of the sun, and also the airflow for your units. So you won't have to use much of the AC, and you won't have to use much of your um, lights. So you have natural lighting coming in, and natural air as well flowing into your apartment. No, they, that's fantastic. Eh? I mean, I, I've been in, in other developments that for some reason they don't they don't think about those little details and you can get up stuck in either a very dark uh unit or a very warm unit so taking those things into consideration even though they are little details and, and often they just look like in slight tweaks here and there in the angle of where you're going to place your windows it, it's just something that that it's worth paying some attention because at the end, it pays off a lot when it comes, for instance, in, in, in your uh, electricity bill. So just yeah. little details that, exactly. that make uh, developments better, really. Yeah. So also, as you mentioned, the uh, try to reduce the electricity bill. Um, all of these eco technologies also, besides the part of the environmental or um, trying to reduce what it is, energy, um, we also want to help the clients or the owners you know, reduce their cost of electricity bill, water bill as well. So, um, and also like maintenance HOA bill. Um, so they will have a reduced cost in those kind of services. And, um, you know, in this case, if they decide to do a rental in these units, they won't have to worry as much um, for those kind of costs. And in this case, they will be receiving a little bit more than reducing what it is their um, earnings in those kind of services. Okay, that that's fantastic. It's a very all around kind of solution. I mean, it's going to help you. It's going to help you uh, protect the environment. It's going to help you reduce your utility bills. Uh, that works. It will work for me. So something else, what kind of units do we have? I know we have uh, studios, uh, one bedroom and two bedroom units, right? In, in, in Bay. That is correct. So in Bay it's a total of 41 units. Um, in this, we have studios, one bedrooms, uh, two bedrooms, which is com like the two bedroom normal. And then we have penthouses that are two bedrooms. Um, and from starting off from the two bedroom, they come with a plunge pool and they are lock off. So you have the accessibility to uh, rent out one of the bedrooms and you still have the main area of it. Okay. And something, because I'm sure that you've done that. You're, you're flown that drone over there. 
Starting about on which uh, level, Lisa, you start getting an ocean view? Yeah, so we have, um, starting in the fourth floor, you have ocean view, like a completely ocean view. Uh, from there on, we have the fifth and sixth level, which is the penthouses. The penthouses are actually two levels. So you have your first floor and then you have your second floor in the penthouses. And then the rooftop, which is an amazing, it's going to be an amazing view. Basically from the fifth floor, you have like the best view. But on the fourth floor, you do have a great view, a great view of of the <laughs> ocean directly. And a great flow of air. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's amazing. Okay, in the, uh, for instance, in the fourth uh, floor, what kind of units do we have? The the, the, the studios, one bedrooms are, are all yes. uh, so, equally in any, in every floor, in every level. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Um, besides the penthouses, which is the fifth and sixth floor, um, all of the floors underneath, in this case, mm -hmm. first, second, third, and fourth, are um, we had equi you know, we have studios, one bedrooms, and two bedrooms. Um, I do wanted to mention that all of our units do come turnkey. So this means that you don't have to worry about furniture, mm -hmm. equipment, nor nor even decoration. So we deliver it completely ready to use. You just need to bring your suitcase, um, your swimming suit, and you're ready to use your apartment. That is perfect. And yeah, and point, uh, point that, that I wanted to do as well. They come fully furnished and equipped to the last detail, up to the spoons and the sheets and the pillows and everything that you may need either if you want to go down there to 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 have a vacation to stay for whatever time or if you're just gonna uh, rent it out and this is very important this is a development that is uh, capable of, of sustaining um, airbnb rentals so if you're looking at it uh, as an investment this is a very good opportunity for you again an absolutely turnkey solution or if you want to go down there move down there whatever you will find that is also very convenient to get your, your condo already furnished. And if you're a big family, the units, uh, units with uh, two bedrooms available. And yeah. so let's say that I want to stay one day and just chill in, in, in Bay. We have in Bay fantastic amenities and a bunch of them. You want to tell us a little bit, uh, Diana? Yeah, most definitely. So I do want to mention that in Bay, we're actually going to have a basement. So it's going to have an underground basement where you're going to find your parking. The parkings, unfortunately, are not assigned since there are only going to be nine parking lots. Um, but in this area of Colosio, um, the 88th Street, we have a lot of like um, outdoor parking still available. And as I mentioned, a lot of people that are in that area, since you're so close to the Fifth Avenue in a lot of local areas where you can shop around, just walking by or with the bicycle. A lot of people don't have what it or don't use in this case a, a car for this kind of um, like vacations or rentals. Um, they usually just have what it is a bicycle, which will have a parking for bicycles. As I mentioned, one of our developers is very, very involved in this kind of like projects. Um, so his his he has a prototype of um, a two parking state or two. A bicycle parking that's two levels, um, and I've already seen it. It's really, really cool, really easy to use. Um, in this case, I've always thought that the the top part of the bicycle. I was like, how do you how do you get the bicycle up there? So easy. You just pull the the um, the part. This or I guess in this case, the parking of the bike of the, on the top part. Really easy. So smoothly, it oh. gets to the floor. It get basically to the floor level. You roll in your bicycle, lock it in, and you push it back up really nice but you will have parking um a car parking bicycle parking you will also have a gym a completely nice gym area and then we go to the floor level in this case where you're going to find your reception or your concierge it's going to be security 24 7. Um, you're going to have a laundry a common laundering area because a lot of our uh, units don't come with the space for a laundry, uh, la laundry machine. So we have that common mm. space for it, which will be included with the HOA. And then after that, we go all the way to the rooftop, which is going to be like the best part, the best view. You have your infinity pool facing the, um, the ocean. You will count with jacuzzis, a snack bar area where you will be able to store um you know sodas um or have a cookout there 
You have a multi-purpose room area. So basically anybody that would like to do some yoga in the morning or exercise uh, in, in the evening and not be like in the gym specifically, but wants to be feeling the fresh air and feel, I guess, the night or the morning of it. They have an area uh, destined for that. You have an outdoor cinema space where you will be able to project any videos or movies that you like to have. And um, basically a sun deck area, which is right next to the pool. So you can relax, read a book. Really nice area as well. Perfect. So, uh, Diana, just to make a little, uh, to wrap it up. So we're talking about a development. Oh, by the way, this is a pre-sale. When is it going to be delivered? Yes, it's going to be delivered in March 2025. March 2025, which gives us about a year, let's say, 11 months from the moment in which we're doing this recording. So again, you have a development on pre-sale that is going to offer you financing options throughout the construction time up to March next year uh, in a fantastic location, in an incredibly fast growing area uh, that that honestly is going to it's going to explode in, in the medium term and you also have well things for your comfort and security i'm going to say the the concierge the uh, controlled access 24 7 security and then you have you outdoor cinema gym uh jacuzzi bar a lot of things to to to, to pass an amazing date in, in in your in your condo in your development and after that you will have well you, you, you will leverage the ability of being involved in a development that is taking a lot of care about the environment. How is that going to work for you? Well, on the one hand, you will be part of the solution and not a part of the problem. And secondly, you will also get a little profit out there because with the uh, water collecting system, LED uh, lighting, uh, the smart wing collection system, so to say, you will be reducing your overall bills and your HOA. So I think it is a very, very well-rounded project that offers a lot, a lot of advantages. And so, Diana, I don't know if you want to, to, to want to add any final remarks. Uh, well, basically, um, all of the points that you mentioned are really great. We do have a great uh, payment scheme, as you mentioned. So uh, we also count with discounts as we're still in the um, entrance of the friends and family discounts. So we have amazing discounts starting off from the 30% of down payment. Uh, but we have different payment schemes, different um, discounts applied. All right, perfect. And so to all my friends on YouTube, you have any comments or any questions you want to know more about uh, Bay, just leave that in the comments or reach out directly to our uh, emails. And as always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This helps this channel a lot. And so, Diana, thank you so much for, for your time. Yeah, no, thank you so much, Umberto, for having me. It was a pleasure to talk about Bay. Um, and thank you for having me in your, um, in your video. All right. Thank you. Well, so thank you, Diana. Thank you, my friends. Till the next one.